Hello everyone, Silverchain here. I will be reading chapter 1 of my fanfiction on Wattpad, Persona Record. As part of the Persona Record series, I hope you enjoy as what you say from the beginning. I'm being reading the chapter through my Google Docs just to avoid any errors that I'm too lazy to fix. That's it. Anyways, let's get on with the reading already because that's what you came to see, so let's go. Chapter 1, The Box of a Childhood Friend When Amamiya got home from school, when Soji Risakura gave him a box. When this box came in for you the other day, says Sojiro, he gave Wen the box. It's from your parents. They say they wanted you to have it. It contains memories of your childhood, said Sojiro. My childhood, said Ren. Yes, go ahead and open it up, if you want, said Sojiro. Ren went to his room. So what's in the box, said Morgana. Sojiro said it's from my childhood. My parents send over, said Ren. Really? Well, why don't you open it up, said Morgana. You just want to know what's inside, said Ren. Oh, come on, Ren, said Morgana. Okay then, said Ren. Ren took off the table of the box and opened it. There were old photos of Wen when he was younger. Wow, you're so young, said Morgana. These are photos when I was a kid, said Wen. Wen looked it at them and found a note from his parents. Dear Wen, we are cleaning out the attic when we found old pictures of you. We wanted to send them over so you can remember your childhood. Love your parents. Wen saw something else. Some of the photos looked strange like someone he didn't know. He saw a glimpse of a girl with pink hair. He took out the photo. It was a little girl about 6 with him in the photo about 10 years old. He flipped the photo over and there was something written on the back. Wen and Tamaki. Wen age 10. Tamaki age 6. 2010. It seems to be a photo from 2010. Wen, do you know the little girl in the photo? said Morgana. I don't remember her, said Wen. Well, this photo is from 10 years ago, so it would make sense why you don't remember, said Morgana. Tamaki, said Ren. Ren, maybe you can ask your parents who she is, said Morgana. Maybe I should ask him tomorrow, said Ren Dot. Okay, I'll go tell Sojuo, said Ren. Okay then, said Morgana. Ren went back downstairs. This Tamaki girl, she sounds a bit strange. I wonder who she is, said Morgana. In Kamehama City. Iwara-chan! Oh, Chiruno-chan, said Iroha. Iroha, guess what? What is it? I met my old childhood friend. I bumped into her the other day, said Chiruno. Oh, you did, said Iroha? Yeah, they came over to my family's restaurant the other day, and when I saw them, I said, Hey, have we met somewhere before, said Chiruno. And we didn't really know about it until our both parents came over and said, You guys were best friends when you were little, said Trino. Oh, that's good news. Now you can be friends all over again, said Iro with a smile. I know, but I made it be digging a little. Iroha, what was your childhood friend, said Trino. Iroha stopped the smiling and looked it at a little bit shocked and looked it upset by Trino's point of view. I... I didn't mean to make you up upset, I'm sorry, said Trino. No, it's fine, you didn't. It's just, I don't remember them. I was only a little girl, but they probably don't remember either, said Aroha. Oh, I see. Do you remember their name then, said Trino? I don't know. I think it started with an R, I guess. But that's all I remember, Aroha said. I'll ask my mom if she remembers. She's good at remembering things than my dad, said Aroha. Okay then, said Trino. Okay, class dismissed, said the teacher. They went home. Sis, said Ui. Ui, said Iwaha. Are you ready to go home? Yachijo said you were going to help her clean and make dinner tonight, said Ui. Oh yeah, I forgot. At least I have you to remind me of that, Ui, said Iwaha. Ui smiled and walked it home. Ui saw Iwaha was thinking about something. Sis, what are you thinking about, said Ui? Oh, it's nothing serious, said Iroha. But I want to know, please tell me, said Ui. Well, Trino met an old childhood friend of hers. She asked me about a childhood friend I had, but I don't remember them except their name started with an R, said Iroha. Oh, said Ui. So when we get back to Izuki Villa, 
Aniro said. I want to call our mom. Oh, I see, Ui. Went back home. Welcome back, you two, said Yachicho. The Phantom Thieves of Hearts, known in Shibuya, Tokyo, have changed another person's heart. Felicia and Sana were watching the news. I wonder who the Phantom Thieves are. They're so mysterious, said Felicia. And they do have and they have nothing to do with us, so stop watching them, said Yachicho. I know what you mean, but I'm going to have to agree with Felicia. I want to know who they are too, said Sana. Seriously, Sana, you too, Yachiso, with a sigh. So, Iroha, Ui, how was your day? Well, I was talking to Juno about, said you, Iroha. She was interrupted by Yachiko. Let me guess, it was about her childhood friend, said Yachiko. Yes, but how did you know, said Iroha. She was telling everyone about it, said Felicia. Okay, well, I was saying is that she asked if I had a child or a friend, but all I remember was that their name started with an R, said Iroha. So you had a child or a friend that started with an R, said Sana? Yes, I want to know who they are, so I'm gonna go call my mom, said Iroha. Then go on ahead, said Yachicho. We'll get to the cleaning after you have a talk with your parents. Oh, okay then. Thanks, Yachicho-san, said Iroha. You better go do your homework, said Iroha. Okay, Ui, said Ui. Oh, that reminds me. Felicia, did you do your homework, said Yachicho? Um, uh, yeah, I did, said Felicia. I know you're lying, said Yachicho. Felicia was silent and groaned a little. Felicia, go do your homework, said Yachicho. Ugh, fine, said Felicia, going to her room. Ira went to go to the phone and call her parents. In Shibuya, Tokyo. So, you want to know Tamaki? Ren's mother was talking to Ren on the phone. Yes, said Ren. Well, if I remember correctly, her name was Aurora Tamaki. Aurora Tamaki, said Ren. Yes, you used to call her by her last name, and she called you by your first name. It was so adorable. She was only six, and you were ten, but you two got so long so well. I see. Do you know what happened to her? said Ren. What happened to her? No, I don't remember, but I remember when you met each other. Would you like to hear that, Ren? Of course, said Ren. Well, it was during the summer of 2010, in the city you used to live in before we moved cities. In the summer of 2010, if I remember, you were playing around like a normal kid would until I lost sight of you. Mom, Dad, said 10-year-old Ren. You told me you heard crying coming from an old tree where there was a hole you can go under, like a good hide-and-seek spot. That is where you found our Tamaki crying because she had got lost. Hey, you are okay, said Ren. Ah, who are you, said Iroha, only six years old at the time. I am Ren Amamiya, you can call me Ren. What happened, said Ren. I got lost. I can't find my mommy and daddy, said Aurora crying. It's okay, I'll help you find them. To be honest, I'm lost myself, said Ren. Are you? said Ren, Ira stopping crying. You told me you took her by the hand and noticed that she had cut her leg. Did you cut yourself? said Ren. I got a boo-boo from falling. It hurts when I move around, said Aurora. It's okay, I'll carry you, and we can go to get help for your boo-boo, said Ren. Um, okay, said Iroha. Ren, there you are, said Ren's mom. Ren, what, what are you doing with that little girl, said Ren's mom. You told me what happened, so I went to help her find her parents, so I left you with your father to watch over you two. Iroha, there you are. Oh, I'm so worried, said Iroha's mom. Your father got her a band-aid. Thank you so much for finding her, I said Iroha, mom. It's no problem, said Ren. Oh wait, did you know Iroha had a baby sister? She was only one at the time. It was basically like love at first sight, but you can say friendship at first sight. That's basically when our family and the Tamaki household became friends, and you guys would always play in the park. Oh, I miss those days, and I wish I knew what happened to Iroha, but that was 10 years ago. You see, after we moved, we stopped talking with the entire family, and left our- and Liv- and Liv moved on. I'm sorry that I didn't know about 
That all I can tell you that I remember. I see. Thank you. Goodbye, said Ren. Ren hanged up. So, any luck, said Sergio? No, they don't remember, but I know her name is Aurora Tamaki, said Ren. Who's Aurora Tamaki? said Futaba. Mind if we know, said An. His friends were waiting for him outside. You should go and hang out, okay? said Sergio. Okay, said Ren. He went outside with Futaba. In Kamehama City. Oh, I see. His name was Renamamiya. I can't believe I forgot, said Renamamiya. Can't believe either. You were so happy around him, like he was your ten-year-old guardian angel or something, because he was always kept you out of trouble. Aurora's mom said. Thank you for telling me, mom. But one more question: What happened to Renamamiya? Said Aurora. Well, if you hadn't heard on the news last year, he got into some trouble. Basically, this guy sued him because he got into a fight with him to protect this woman. Said Aurora's mother. I can't say much, but his parents made him move away to their friend's place. But that's all I know about from the news and rumors about him. Oh, I see," said Aurora, looking shocked. "Well, I have to go now, sweetie. Say hi to Uli for me. Okay, bye. Love you all," said Amar. "Okay, bye," said Aurora. Aurora hanged up. "Where's Mamiya?" said Aurora. Where are you? said Aruha. Aruha, are you done? said Yachicho. Oh yeah, I'm coming. said Aruha. Aruha went to Yachicho, Shibuya, Tokyo. At night, Ren had a dream. Ren Senpai, Ren Senpai, Ren Senpai, come to Kamehameha City. There, magic girls can be saved. Maho Sojo, come to Kamehameha City. Ren woke up. Kamehameha City, said Ren. He heard a girl's voice in his dream. And she was a little girl that he didn't know, but was not Aurora Tamaki. Who was that? How did she know my name? Said Ren. Ren, are you okay? Said Morgana. I'm fine. Ren went back to sleep. Kamehameha City. Aurora Tamaki, are you there? To be continued.